There are typically four different uses of induction motors in HVAC residential heating and cooling equipment. At the indoor furnace or air handler, the blower motor drives a squirrel cage blower wheel to move conditioned air through the equipment and into the conditioned space. In a similar way, the voltage to the cooling terminal can be checked. On a call for cooling, most systems energize the blower on the cooling call. The voltage should appear immediately. As a general rule, always use the common terminal when checking voltage. Do not use a ground connection, which could lead to voltage readings that are too low or are erratic. The ECM motor can run with only its power connector connected. However, there must be a 24-volt signal on its control plug for operation to take place. The 24 volts can come from the unit transformer or accessory tools that are available from all equipment manufacturers. ECMs are constantly changing. Follow the equipment manufacturer's guidelines for the specific unit worked on. When diagnosing the operation of the inducer, it is important to eliminate any problems with the vent itself or the differential pressure control and its tubing as the source of the problem. The differential pressure control can be checked with a differential pressure gauge. If the motor runs but trips on an internal overload, check the condition of the blades. Blades running out of balance can cause motor overheating. Check the mounting of the fan assembly in the shroud. Make sure it meets the manufacturer's specs. If the contactor has not pulled on a call for compressor operation, check the coil of the contactor. Typically, the coil should have 24 volts on a compressor call. If it does not, check the low voltage circuits. If necessary, check continuity of the coil winding.